Anatomy of the tensor fascia lata muscle. The tensor fascia lata muscle lies between the tendons of the gluteus maximus and tensor fascia lata at the middle of the upper area of the thigh. The tensor fascia lata muscle arises from the anterior part of the outer lip of the iliac crest. It is inserted along the iliotibial tract at the middle third of the thigh. The insertion is into the iliotibial band. The iliotibial band is a thick band of fascia that extend along the lateral thigh from the iliac crest to the knee. The iliotibial band is inserted into the lateral condyle of the tibia at an area called the girdis tubercle. Function The tensor fascia lata muscle assists in flexion and abduction of the thigh. It counteracts the posterior pull from the gluteus maximus muscle on the iliotibial tract. Innervation The tensor fascia lata muscle is innervated by the superior gluteal nerve. The superior gluteal nerve exits the pelvis at the greater sciatic foramen above the piriformis muscle. Conditions involving the tensor fascia lata muscle and the iliotibial band. Snapping hip syndrome. The iliotibial band slides over the greater trochanter of the femur, causing snapping noise, clicks, and motion. It may be painful, especially with activity. The patient is able to reproduce the snapping. How do you diagnose iliotibial band syndrome? Direct palpation of the greater trochanter. Put the patient on the side. The hip is placed in extension and rotate the hip till a pop is felt. What is the Ober's test? Ober's test is a clinical examination test used to assess tightness of the iliotibial band. The patient should lay on the side with the unaffected leg on the bottom. The examiner will then slowly abduct the leg with the knee in flexion and the hip in extension. When the iliotibial band is tight, the test is positive and abduction of the leg will be limited. Trochanteric bursitis. It occurs due to repeated trauma, inflammation, or irritation of the iliotibial band over the greater trochanter. The bursa will be irritated and inflamed, and the patient will point to the area of pain over the greater trochanter of the femur. How about runner's injury, the iliotibial band syndrome? The condition usually occurs in distant runners. It is a friction injury due to rubbing between the iliotibial band and the lateral femoral condyle. MRI will show the iliotibial band thickened and inflamed with edema deep to the iliotibial band. Treatment, physiotherapy, injections, rarely surgery. Injection can be done at the girdis tubercle area or the lateral femoral condyle area, depending on the area of maximum tenderness. How about thigh compartment syndrome? Thigh fasciotomy can be done by opening the skin, the subcutaneous tissue, and the tensor fascia lata, as you can see here. How about tensor fascia lata muscle and common approaches? Let's take the Watson-Jones approach. is between the tensor fascia lata muscle and the gluteus medius muscle. Both muscles are supplied by the superior gluteal nerve. How about Smith-Peterson approach? 
the approach between the tensor fascia lata, which is supplied by the superior gluteal nerve, and the sartorius, which is supplied by the femoral nerve. In this approach, avoid injury to the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.